Hi, boys and girls. I'm going to take you into the amazing world of sea animals. Do you recognize this animal? Did you say octopus? Well, you are half correct. This is a giant octopus. This giant octopus has a reddish brown body and eight long arms. Also, its blood is pale blue, not red like ours. Isn't that amazing? Boys and girls, is this a plant or animal? It is an animal that looks like a green plant. This is a green anemone. Do you see its mouth in the middle? Have you ever seen this cute fish before? It is called a clownfish because of the colors orange and white. Orange and white are clown colors. People love to see sea nettles because of their bright colors. Look at their long tentacles, boys and girls. They sting the small fish with their tentacles, which paralyzes the fish, and then they eat the fish. Sea otters spend hours each day grooming their fur. Their fur keeps them warm. Also, sea otters only eat while they are floating on their backs. Would you believe they are related to the weasel? What do you think these sea creatures are, boys and girls? These are moon jellies. They are boneless, brainless, heartless, and made almost entirely of water. Now look closely at these jellies. What do they look like, boys and girls? Did you say umbrellas? Yes, these are umbrella jellies. What do you think this is? Yes, it's an eel. Eels are a snake-like fish. They have strong jaws with strong teeth. And they eat at night on fish, crab, and lobsters. How many of you boys and girls love penguins? I love penguins too. They are birds that do not fly. Here I am standing by some fake penguins. On my right is the emperor penguin. The emperor penguin is the tallest and heaviest of all the penguins. Now boys and girls, over here is the littlest penguin. It is called the little blue penguin or the fairy penguin. Look how small it is next to me and the emperor penguin. Have you ever seen these small animals before? They are sea urchins. Their shells are round and spiny. They move slowly, feeding mostly on algae. And guess what, boys and girls? The sea otter feeds on these urchins. Isn't that interesting? I know you know what this is. What is it, boys and girls? Yes, an adorable seahorse. And I'm going to show you another type of seahorse also. This is a potbelly seahorse. Do you see his little potbelly there? Look at this weird but cute sea animal, boys and girls. Now look at it closely. What do you think this is? It is called a leafy sea dragon. The leafy sea dragon looks like it's wearing long leaves. These leaf-like fins help it to steer and turn. Here is another sea dragon. This one is called a weedy sea dragon. This fish has small leaf-like appendages, which are used as a camouflage to protect it against its predators. Here's a question for you boys. What kind of fish are these? Did you say sharks? If you did, you are correct. So, 
Here are some sharks. There are over 470 different types of sharks. Sharks can have from one to 100 babies at a time. The baby shark is called a pup. Isn't that amazing? One shark having that many babies? Boys and girls, join me under the sea singing the ABC song. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Teaching tip. Encourage your child to share these facts with family members and friends in sentences. Example, I saw a giant octopus. It is important for children to answer questions in a complete sentence. Good luck. Subscribe for upcoming videos. If you need English language arts or math lessons that motivate children to want to learn in a fun and exciting way, visit www.sbcrevitalize.com.